What is up YouTube? I'm about to demonstrate how you would normally perform a DaVinci Watch video. The best way to watch it anyway. So when you start the video up, it starts up normal. What is up YouTube? Oh look at that, there goes my handsome face. Okay, so go down to the description, right click on next to the link that says original video for syncing. Right click it, click open in new window. Once you click that, the original link is gonna appear in a new window. You're gonna stop the video Try to shrink it down as much as you can. And then you want to put the video in the corner as if you were watching a normal reaction. So once you start it, obviously the video is going to jump back if you're using it on a PC. You want to try to get to the point where I'm going to do the countdown. Normally do not skip the intro. There's a lot of important information in it, but I'm going to skip it for demonstration purposes. So once the... So once the... Uh, everybody's uh on point with once the countdown the starts now with that being said you ready the video is set to zero 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 everything is from also the very beginning to turn off the mute I'm about to the <laughs> countdown when i say go hit the play button three two one go there we go see this is friday night dinner season one episode one and it's that easy obviously you would have the sound simon bird so that is what you would normally do in order to get the reaction normally on a DaVinci watch. Oh, you know the head bopping doesn't stop. Okay, you can, you can stop with the head bopping. Thank, thanks, DaVinci. I appreciate it. That is how you do a DaVinci watch video. <laughs> if you have any more questions, go to the comment section and leave them there. Thank you. What is up, YouTube? I'm Devon DaVinci, leader of the Renaissance crew, and you're watching DaVinci React slash watch. Again, it depends on where you're watching it. Um, today we're going to get into episode three. Of peep show this is season five episode three um the last one it kind of made me upset with sophie a little bit because of how she was acting i can't necessarily blame her but i don't know it's like just it's kind of messed up because i wanted to I, just, I wanted to say like just drop it because it's not worth all that all the stuff that she did last episode but at the same time it's like this dude played around with you all the way until your wedding day so yeah i can kind of imagine it not to mention his roommate more than likely uh molested a relative of yours so i mean there's that too so <laughs> I, I can't be mad at you for being upset over him uh or upset with mark but whatever let's go ahead and get past that um some of you probably ask him why is this episode coming out so much later than normally that is because i'm still in the process of peak season the last couple weeks, I was able to have the benefit of not having overtime, but this last week I had overtime, so I wasn't able to record when I would normally record. Um, I don't know what my schedule is this upcoming week, but I will try to let you know this time. Now, with that being said, let's jump into this. Uh, if you're familiar with the Vinci Watch videos, I'm about to do the countdown. If you don't know how to follow along, watch the one minute tutorial at the beginning of this video. It will explain how to follow along properly with me. Uh, now, I'm going to do a three-second countdown. When I say go, everybody hit the play button at the same time, and we should be synced up. I'm going to say go on zero, and that's it. So let's do this. Three, two, one, go. Drink of the day is water. What is he eating? Sausage and something. Um, I don't think that's how that works, but okay.
Yeah, so he's just going to eat your stuff. Oh. No updates. Holy crap, I was about to buy Ben and Jerry's Cherry Garcia today. I say I got Hagen Doss, but <laughs> Yeah. I mean, that should be a rule regardless if you live with roommates. Like, always carry your food with you. I thought a nest egg was an investment. They make it sound like it's food. Final sausage. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Nice comeback, Mark. Drinks are not a guaranteed investment. They don't owe you anything. Go in knowing that. That is the creepiest, yeah. Yeah, so that is the creepiest thing you could have said. Period. Mm, mm, mm. <clears throat> That's a sexy ass, please clean your hands sign right there. <laughs> I'm sure that's like a, a legal somehow. I know it's illegal somehow. It has to be. This has to be a law. <laughs> oh, man. The hell? Oh, yeah. 
I'm guessing that's on the back of the dollar or the money. Yeah. What? I don't know what any of that stuff is except for the soya milk. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Holy hell. I wouldn't be surprised if Jeremy actually would be willing to do that. Uh They're drunk. You can flip this in your favor. You could have cha you could have challenged them. If you would have challenged them, they could have led to something. This is going to be good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that how UK people see Australian people? <laughs> <laughs>
Hmm. That's funny. She has a hangover. Pretty much. <laughs> well, how's he look violated? <laughs> Oh, he's so unviolated. That's the problem. No, she didn't. No, she no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. This isn't going to work out at all. I promise you it's not. This ain't going to work. I know partly through experience, this type of relationship ain't going to work. Trust me. I'm not going to go into detail, but I, I just know it's not going to end well. <laughs> no, it does not. She is. Holy crap, that's a tiny TV. I feel bad for Mark. I know how this is going to end. Oh, she's going to definitely, like, she's going to emphasize it for sure.
<laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you should just stick with Dobby. Damn. There you go, Dobby. <laughs> Put him in his place pretty well. You would be so much better with Dobby. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> Don't listen to your heart. <laughs> well, at least part of him knows the right answer. Big Sue's. Damn. <laughs> Don't forget the knife. <laughs> Jeremy is this close to becoming a crackhead. And I'm sure Superhand still has some crack, so he wouldn't be that far off. What <laughs> about DVD player? <laughs> wow. <laughs> this isn't going to end well at all. Hell no. Yeah, you'd have to fuck him up.
<laughs> you can't be able to suit and everything. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Johnson sound like Jim Carrey on me, myself, and Irene? Dude, fuck him up. Fuck her up too. Hell no. I just boom. Knock him the hell out and then grab her by the shirt and just throw her out. Just treat her like jazz from Fresh Prince. Just See, what Mark needs is a backbone. <laughs> oh, boy. Is it even, like... Is it even a question to wonder who got, took the biggest L in this episode? It was Mark. Mark took the biggest L. Mark needs to grow a backbone. I mean... Never let somebody walk over you like that. He should have knocked uh, homeboy the hell out. Laid him out flat right there on the middle of the dance floor. And he should have grabbed the damn girl by the shirt and just threw her out like, like I said, like Jazz from Fresh Prince. Just, uh, like, just toss her ass out. <laughs> that upset me. I, see, now I understand that technically Mark was like all over uh, Sophie when she was going out with him, but... The dude's attitude, even at that time, was still something they needed to be knocked down a, a peg or two. He was still looking... Like he knew that Mark had a crush on her, so he just kind of like rubbed it in his face. So I would have no problems with knocking him the hell out after this. But uh, that's just me. Now, um, not only do I want to hear reviews of this episode for you guys uh, in the comment section down below, but I want to hear what you would do in this situation if you were in Mark's shoes, because I got to make sure that I'm uh, like I'm not some type of violent Neanderthal that that just resorts to violence. Like violence is warranted in this in this context, right? Like, right? I'm I'm not out of the question for you know wanting to get violent in the middle of my birthday party with my girl. And this guy comes in and starts dancing with my girl and stuff. And then not only does my girl disrespect me in the middle of my dance floor, but also the guy is like playing games like, ah, oh, I got your girl. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, I will see you guys next week for the next Friday night dinner episode. And the next Peep Show episode will be in two weeks, so... Again, I'm alternating each week, so that's why people wonder, like, I've had people ask me if, the, if I was finishing with the show, and it's like, no, 
I'm still reacting to these shows just like I said I was. They come out a little bit later now because I'm doing less uh, episode. I'm, I'm doing less TV show reactions per week than I was in the past. And because of the overtime and everything else, I'm not, uh, I don't have as much free time to record. So my recording sometimes tend to come out later than normal. But that's something that you guys should um, just want to let you know about. Um, I'm trying to think more about like this episode. So Mark took the biggest sale. Jeremy. I mean, I guess Jeremy came out okay. He at the beginning he was threatened to lose the house, and he didn't have any money. In the end, he still didn't necessarily have money, but he had stuff, <laughs> and he had a roof over his head. So, I guess that's a win. Um, not to mention Mark is paying back his debt. So yeah, that's a huge win for Jeremy. Sophie is kind of average. She wasn't rubbing it in his face as much this episode. Um. Matter of fact, it seemed like when she first came in during the whole returning thing, which I don't know if that's an actual thing, is that something that people do in the UK? Because they made it seem like it was like a a special day or something. Um, during that situation, she was showing signs of maybe not getting back together, but trying to recover whatever relationship they had. That's what it seemed like she was going for. And... If it wasn't for the girl, who again, this is exactly why you need to kick her the hell out. Um, Sophie would have probably been cool again. But, yeah. Um, what other characters could have taken... That's really it. Those are the only characters I'm willing to review. The other characters were irrelevant to me. Uh, Saz, or whatever her name was. Fuck her. Like I said, kick her out. Um, I mean I already knew that she didn't give a damn about him I already knew that like how the relationship was going to go and Mark was Mark should have not bothered to go in that direction um, but whatever I'm in this up I'm Devon Da Vinci hopefully you guys are enlightened I look forward to seeing you in a future episode which will be in two weeks again and until then, I am Devon Da Vinci, and I am signing out. Be sure to check out uh, uh, I Am Alan Partridge, which will be coming out around the same time this episode comes out, except that's going to be over on Patreon. So if you want to see uh, my Patreon-exclusive TV show, that's what I'm going to be watching. Now, with that being said, now I can wrap this up. Deuces.